Geometry 226, Quadrants on a Coordinate Plane. There are four quadrants on a coordinate plane. The points are located in the quadrants by how they relate to the origin, the zero, zero spot on the plane. Now, if you remember from my previous video, we talked about Main Street and First Avenue. You can't find somebody if they just tell you they're going to be on Main Street, but if they say they're going to be at Main Street and First Avenue, you can find them. So that's the two points that you need to find somebody on the coordinate grid or on a map. And this center part right here, this zero, is the zero, zero, which is the origin, okay? So I'm going to take a step back so you can get a really good look at this. And here is our coordinate plane, and these are the quadrants. Now don't get confused because it makes a shape of a C. This is quadrant two, okay? This is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, and it's written as Roman numerals. One, two, three, and four. Now, if you look over here, the first one is X and the second one is Y, okay, the coordinates. In quadrant one, it's positive, positive, and it kind of looks like a cartoon where they got punched in the eyes and they put plus signs for eyes. And in quadrant two, it's got a closed eye and a punched eye. Quadrant 3, he's sleeping. And quadrant 4, he's got the punched eye and a sleeping eye. Now, these two are going to be the easiest to remember. 1 is both eyes are plus signs, and 3 is he's asleep. Quadrant 2 is the negative sign is first, and quadrant 4 is the negative sign is last. So if you can remember that the negative signs are on the outside and the positive signs are on the inside for 2 and 4, that might help you remember which one is which. Now, the positive and negative signs are important because they tell you which direction to go. The numbers that are going to be inside these parentheses with the positive and negative signs are going to tell you how far to go. And we'll do that in the next video. So, with the negative signs here and negative signs down here, and these are positive signs and these are positive signs, it tells you the direction to go. So in quadrant one, you would head to the right and up. So you would head to the right and up because number one is here and number one is here. So you go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and you go to the right one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what you do for quadrant one. For quadrant two, you go to the left and up you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, see? For quadrant 3, you go to the left and down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for quadrant 4, you go to the right and down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The x-axis is always the first one, and then the y-axis is second, all right? So just remember, you got to lay down and get a good rest before you can climb, okay? So, those are the quadrants on a coordinate plane, and we're going to discuss putting numbers into these ordered pairs and where they would show up on the coordinate plane. I'll see you next video.